hey, what's going on? What's going on? Another day, another dollar. What's up with Jay? JP Hall at you for Life TV. And I want to jump right back into this part two of my man Sharp um, on the No Jumper speaking with the young lady by the name of Blue Jasmine. And it's, it's wild because he's she's on here talking about the game that she's been running on men and uh pretty much putting her in a place and telling her how the real game actually goes you know so before we get started on this one let's go ahead hit that little subscribe button like button and comment you know as as you want on this thing especially at the end i like to hear how um what you think of everything and hit that little notification bell whereas that you can get the next one because it's going to be another part to it so I'll, i'll try to do it in two parts but the video i mean the the interview is really long so there'll be a part three so this is part two to the interview with sharp and blue jasmine so let's jump on it let's get this thing let it spin here we go oh yeah and this is a continuation from when he was discussing um the older gentleman with the young lady that only thing he wants not take pictures with black guys and she did it anyway and he ended up losing the, the I think it's an like NBA team so you know the story so here we go gave her everything in the world all he told her was just don't and he knew she was fucking with other other niggas mm-hmm. he knows he don't want to say it he told her not to put, <laughs> but he told her not to post photos with no. black guys. He found that embarrassing, right? Wasn't that the main not, thing? No, no, it wasn't just that. It was further than that. She brought the nigga to the game. She brought the nigga to the game. And mind you, you know, of course she's gonna have some good seats. All of his colleagues are seeing this shit. You think he don't talk about that girl to them? You think he's not trying to like pick her up? No, she had to still go do some nigga shit. She couldn't just do it right. She couldn't just follow this one instruction like Adam and Eve. You can have everything on the land. Just don't touch the apple. And the bitch always got to go touch the motherfucking apple, man. Don't she? Because maybe she didn't want Adam. Maybe she didn't want him. (laughs) Maybe she really didn't. (laughs) You heard it. (laughs) Now, listen to this corny shit she said. That's why I say she's goofy. She's just a pretty face. That's all. Maybe he didn't want Adam. Maybe she didn't want Adam. The guy, she, I don't know how long she's been messed with, you know, if you know the story, but the guy is a uh, NBA team owner. So what do you mean? He's like 80-something years old, has a wife, and taking care of this young girl. And you yourself talking about getting the bag, getting this and that. She was set. All she got to do is play her game right. And she had everything. I mean, <laughs> come on, man, come on. I want him. She did man, not care. She wouldn't have brought the- that man to the game to blow the bag for her because her bag got blown. Her <laughs> bunker got busted under the bunker. She gained nothing yeah, from it. The exactly. man had to sell the team. He's banned from the NBA, and that's that. Let's pick our game up some here, people. Like, for real, getting involved like that. Like, and just, the man gave one simple instruction. Can, Don't me, come do some nigga shit at my white people's game. Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Come on. If you were invested in her career, if you got 20% of everything that she made and you're sort of calling the shots and you were directing her on what she should be doing with her time, what would you want her to be spending her time First on? and foremost, this is just an if. A big if. If. Okay. If that was the case, I would get her some, get some IRA accounts going. Go get some real shit going to where when you spoke on, oh, mother gonna have to drag me up out the house. Why would they ever have to drag you out the house, sweetie? When your bag is already up, think about it. You don't have to stay in none of that. But that's a different conversation because if she gets the money from 
whatever, because you hustle. Was, you then you go put it in, a, in an account. That makes sense. You go now, open a restaurant. This, this but is a conversation. Let me get this. We're one. talking more street level. Let me get this one. Granted, <laughs> if your bag was already up, you wouldn't have to worry about that. But your ass was spinning it because you got comfortable. I get it. It happens. Mm -hmm. It happens when you get into them positions. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers starting to get a bag. That shit's starting to roll in comfortably. You think this motherfucker's gonna be there for the longevity? I mean, I'm still getting my own money. And then, my, bing, wasn't, I wasn't spending my then own money. nobody and I should ever it. have to drag you the fuck yeah, out of you're any not kicking, house. It's the principle. You're not kicking me out. Who gives a fuck? You walking out. Be a boss. Yeah. But yeah, see, that's what she doesn't understand. Why stay, get embarrassed, probably get fucking locked up trying to stay in something that don't belong to you. It doesn't belong to you. She talking about the principle. There is no principle. He wants your ass out and they will get you out of there. So you're going to be kicking and screaming and literally kicking and screaming, acting a damn fool. When the police going to get you out of there. Only thing he's going to do, stand across the street, let the police go in there, get your ass, get your belongings that you can carry up out of there and get out of there and escort you back out the building. And then they're going to escort him in the building so they can put new locks on everything and you can't come back in there. Take all your access away to that building. Change out the locks, the codes, the cards, everything. And that's it. You can't even get in the fucking gate. They're along the front door. So you can't even park your damn car in there. So why are you going to sit here and argue and fight over some shit that don't belong like he's trying to tell you? If he want you out, fuck it. You walk out. You're supposed to have your own shit anyway. So now you're going back to your spot. Find the next dummy. Goofy. You decide. Walk, they were saying you, decide. you should already know that. You no. should already been on the whim to want to do that. When I'm ready to leave, I'm going to leave. And that's leave sad. because you was a boss. It don't matter. Don't get the police called on you. Let me explain something to you when these white people, because there was something that you was talking about that I was like, you were right. See, when you're dealing with somebody that really know the business structure of it and know how to really put somebody out, see, the constable's office comes, right? Mm -hmm. They come and do it. They don't even knock at the door. They just start drilling shit out. And they drill them locks out and all that shit, right? And they give you about, mm, I want to say, probably a hard eight minutes. They give you a hard eight minutes to grab whatever the fuck you can grab. Yeah, that's what and I was talking about. whatever else is in here, you can take it up in court. Hmm. Don't ever embarrass yourself like that. I mean, that like was a that. hypothetical question. Thank don't, God be to me. I was but not don't ever I put your, to leave. But for you to say that spoke volumes. Shake that. Yeah, because they was asking me like, if, you, if they told you to leave, like, no, I'm not doing what nobody told me that. until I'm ready to you do was what I like a boss already. You were never there. Happen. Why go That's live with the motherfucker happen. that pays you? Stop sitting there and trying to shit where you eat. I don't understand what you just said. Do and see, that's another thing. How do you not know that statement? Everybody in business know that fucking statement. You don't shit where you eat. Basically, you don't mess with the people where you working at. That's what it means. You don't have to have sex with the women that work at your damn job or at your business. Because when you break up or something happens, you got to either fire her. Now she look for a lawsuit or she just want to cause chaos because you cut her off. So you don't shit where you eat. How she not know this comment? I, Still goofy, man. I mean, to be so street, how you not know this shit? Do not shit, do not shit where you have to eat. If you're eating there, you stay far away from there. That person's not even really in your business. Have them far away from your business to when they do want to blow up, they want to do any type of weird shit that they want to do. None of your shit was compromised. None of your shit was compromised. That situation would never happen. Right or wrong. That situation would never happen if you were far happened. away. But but you That was spoke. hypothetical. They asked me nah, the question. Nah, fuck hypothetical. And I, and I replied. This is our reality. You not kicking. No, I replied in how I would reply. Like, but it didn't happen to me. Well, they're not so going to have to kick you out. It didn't happen to me. Those constable people going to come kick you out. I'd have been, I'd have been broke. I'd have been there before. I know what it's like when they come show up at your door, man. You sleep. Shit, I already knew they was coming. Had everything packed at the front door. I knew they was coming. As I mean, soon I as I start hearing that drilling, well. 
it's time to get up. <laughs> time to get the fuck up out of here, man. I already know what it is. These people ain't playing. When somebody wants you out, there is no dragging you out. This isn't your world. This me. is reality. I still got my career back. And see, and that's what she doesn't understand. She thinks she's still in control. Once those constables and sheriffs and everyone, whoever shows the fuck up, once they come, people of authority, that's a wrap. You getting out. You can make fuss or whatever. They're going to give you about 10 to 15 minutes to get your belongings. And they're going to walk your ass out. I mean, all the way out. Off the property. Across the street. Whatever the hell. And stand there and make sure you don't come back across. Now, if you want to go through that embarrassment stage, then fuck it. Go right ahead. Do that shit. But it ain't going to change the damn game. <laughs> And I got another crib too. I use no. that one as for Airbnb now. No. So I make bread off that crib. Let, let me give you the floor. What do you think that he doesn't? Doing a podcast. Doing a podcast. Yeah. Uh, I think she's a little confused about the game. I think she's out running and she's in the streets and she's getting a lot of attention, but overlooking a lot of things that could benefit her down the road. And that's what Sharp is trying to tell her. Stop. You know, like I say, stop doing things for the now. You know, you arguing about dude not putting you out in the principle. The principle is, and the true principle is, the shit doesn't belong to you. It's not yours. You are using it. And now I want your ass out. That's the damn principle. She's sitting trying to argue with this street shit. Like he's telling you, when those constables come, and these people come get their shit. They come to get it. Just like a lease. A car. Or anything like that. Yeah he may let you get that. And borrow that. But everything's in his name. So if he want to renege on the lease. They come to get the car. Unless you want to put it in your name. Which you don't want to do. Because you want free shit. And you want me to do for you. But keep watching. And um. Uh, Notice how he starts getting on her. And now she's like, oh, you bring women talk talk bad about women and bring women down. But she started out the whole thing in part one with, you know, um, breaking a breaking a neck, breaking a man. Taking his shit, basically. She's going to take the cab drive. What? If you got her a car, I'm going to get the car and don't holler him again. But then when he started getting on, oh, you're bringing a woman down. You all here bring yourself down. You're telling 13, 15-year-old girls to mess with older dudes to get cell phones. Like, you have no class. That's what it is. And this is what's out here. And these young girls are listening to this shit. These girls are talking about hot girl summer and hot girls and all this shit. But you're bringing out this poison and telling these young girls... And now they all on, you have girls from shit, six years old on up twerking on video. I seen some might be younger. Twerking the last ass off. Parents, group of women at birthday party standing around clapping it on. And this shit's on the internet. Not one man in the crowd. Have y'all noticed that? When they start having these little damn birthday parties and shit. And all these little parties. No men are around. Just a bunch of damn women. So. Let's kick it off. Let's let this thing spin. See what else this chick has to say with her goofy ass. Your lifestyle or where I you're I mean, I think from. like most men who consider themselves alpha. You know, they don't like when they see women in a position where a woman could. Men, are, especially alpha men. They so used to. Winning. Man, they so used to um, respectfully manipulating you know, women, because they see us as lower in a way. And so I think that there's a lot of alpha men. They don't like when they see women who, who are alpha and who can match up to them. Like, I could stand next, probably stand next to him. You do you know? identify with that? Or do you feel like when they you are working with a woman, yeah. you want her to this, be no, a boss? It's a, it's a way I'm going to say this to her. This is push hand, baby. This is push hand. If you're going to say you're going to be equal, you're going to stand up like it. 
-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? It's not going to be no lollygagging. It's not going to be sitting back doing this bullshit. You're asking to get up. You're Listen, and I agree. Like, it should be me that motivates you to want to get up and go get more. Because you see it. Because you with a boss nigga. No offense to my man in the back. I love you, church. But just, you with a boss nigga, that's how you should look at it. It should make you automatically want to get up and go get the bag. Nobody should have to ask you and nobody should have to force you out. Yeah, but that... I. That's how I move. I'm, I'm, I don't need to be with a boss nigga to move like a boss. You get it? But my whole thing was saying when they brought up that I situation bosses to me. bosses fuck with bosses. I, don't, I could be by myself and I'm still be a boss. That's then, my then point. That's what, it, that's that's what, what I'm saying. That it don't, it don't, I, don't need, it's not, I don't need a man to direct me. You know, I'm already, that, I'm already minded. My mind is already like that. I just see men as a business as well. That's part of a business that I run for myself. And I've, you know what I mean? So, yeah. See how she just ran out of shit to say? Because it was making no damn sense. None whatsoever. Now, a lot of these chicks run around talking about they bosses and all this. and uh, But you don't have anything that has employees. Nothing. The shit she talking about, she renting out an Airbnb. She probably sub-renting because she said she don't have the shit in her name. So somebody leasing out an Airbnb for you, you sub-rented the shit out. That's all you did. You ain't say you had nothing else really going on. No, some. You couldn't even explain the shit you had. It's just uh, uh this thing. I remember boss bitch. Just because you were dating or letting them lick your stuff, don't make you a boss b. All right, that that's just how that works. You rolling up in with these guys, you hang around these guys, and they boop kicking your ass to the side. But at that, what, about 23, maybe 24. Yeah, you're doing a little thing now, but that cuteness, all that prettiness, you know, you're just working off, you know, pretty girl vibes right now. That shit's going to go away. And then what are you going to do? All that cuteness, that will fade. Believe that. And you will start getting older. So, you know. Have a plan, what he trying to tell you. Get something real, some IRAs and some, some shit. Put some money in some stocks and crypto. Do something. What does your business entail to? What you mean? Where is it taking you? Taken? Where has it gotten where you? Has it taken me? Where have you, you know what I'm saying? Where have you, where have you gotten? In regards to from where I came? What businesses? Yeah, what businesses have you, you felt like you have obtained today that are genuinely in your motherfucking name and not where I go pull it up and it says Muhammad Jalalabad? I'm talking about where I can go pull up your name. It don't matter because the money's in my name. No. See, so that's what I'm talking about. It's, if it's in your name. name. Right there. Hey, it's in your name. I'm just saying because I, hey, I know how this shit go. So Let me tell you something. It could be under anybody's stop, name. Stop. Hey, stop letting them buy it for you and you buy it yourself. Stop letting, the trick, man, stop letting the trick man buy it for you. Because see, when he get mad at you, right? Because see, when he get mad, when he get mad, guess what he do? He going to come take that shit back when he mad. He done took back. He done took back. Hey, he done took back everything, man, that he done really went and bought. I still got the apartment. That's what yeah. I said. No. See how she keep going back to that fucking apartment. You don't own it. It's an apartment. It's not even a house. But you keep going back. I still got it. It ain't never happened to me. Shit, you only 20, what, 23, 24? It's coming. I mean, and then you on here broadcasting how you fucking niggas over. So it's coming. Don't best believe that shit. No. You're right. The car right. I had to bring back because the lease right. ended, but I had it until it ended. So yeah, what I'm saying is, I think. What are you saying? I think Honestly. that I think men just don't like to see women in a position where where, where we can get whatever we want. You no. know, and obviously. I want to see you winning and respecting and, it, doing it the right way and, and not the, the wrong way. And what's right? What not makes it GFE, right? Not GFE. Not where the bag. Not where there's a certain bag GFE is that fucking. that will make you GFE listen to me. Listen to bread. me, sweetie. Hey, listen to me. Me and you both know how this game go. Mm -hmm. We ain't stupid. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And for you to sit there and say you already put sex in the mix by even saying, "Hey, man, motherfucker, gotta eat my. Hey, man, you gotta eat my pussy that five times and give me the bag that was a and give me the bag." Now, but, but you were talking about fucking with people with the bag. So you telling me if this white man that you like, this older white man that you well, like, he come. Man. Just oh, somebody, okay. anybody, just, uh -huh. just anybody. Donald Sterling. Okay. Uh, See how she tried to come back with, I don't do that, I don't do that, I don't do that. But she did make the comment about letting them eat the, you know, the box. 
before you, you know, so you can get paid. It's the same thing. Oral sex is sex. Like you said, you brought sex into the whole picture telling people what to do. You can't come back and say, no, you don't, you know, you don't F for the bread. That's F for the bread. You let him touch the most important part of your body. Goofy. Uh, a Donald Sterling. Muhammad Ajarabu. <laughs> he comes to you. He, he comes to you. He offer you a bag. He offer you, you know I'm saying? He offer you something that you probably ain't used to getting, right? Mm -hmm. And you... He said, man, shit, let me eat your pussy. You gonna let him do it? No, unless I genuinely like, if I genuinely like him, yes. But otherwise, the type of people Ah, oh, see, check what she said. If I genuinely like him, yes. Now watch how she tried to flip when she realized what the fuck she just said. But that's gonna really come bring the real bag. All right, but I'm not, the thing Those is, are I'm the not, people I'm that not, are gonna really listen, come bring the real greedy. bag. I'm Who's not, gonna listen, bring I'm it? I'm not greedy for money. Listen, there could be two lemonade man. stands, one lemonade. Then what are you, then what are you doing this for? You might as well retire tomorrow. I what mean, I make bread. For? I see what men as one for? as a business, and then I have other businesses you that I run too, and that's just club, one baby. of the things that I run. Yes, I'm a bartender. You be in the strip club. Yeah. You and which I, I don't know if you feature. I don't know what you do, but you be in the strip club. I'm so a if you already doing that, why this motherfucker say she a bartender? Man, <laughs> stop the fucking cap, man. Come on. You a bar? I'm a bartender. So they paying feature your ass the bartender. Why don't you own a fucking club? And I never wonder why these women never start their own strip club. You guys run that business, know it in and out, but none of you branch out to own your own fucking strip club. I've never seen a woman run a strip club. I'm pretty sure some out there, but I haven't seen it yet. But I always wonder about that. You're bossing. Why don't you boss him? Just own a fucking club. I be in the club. Your ass should be across the country featuring everywhere else. Getting paid mean? to do the walkthroughs in they strip clubs. That was some free game for you too, by That's the way. That's true. I lost that was some free pages. game. That was some free game for you, by the way, too. I lost, I lost my Instagram Charlie, pages. I feel like Church, I had them. Free game for it. Just need to get moving, man. Shit. Why to be in the Instagram same strip club days. if you yeah, the that shit? That's crazy. And see, there it is. He told her what she really should be doing. I lost my Instagram pages. That has shit to do with it. Get up, get moving. Or you're not really moving as you say you are. I mean, you on these shows, you did five shows last week, you say, a week ago, two weeks ago. Take all that shit, use it to brand yourself, and go somewhere else. I mean, you, you just thinking at the lowest fucking level and he trying to tell you to think bigger and you just don't get it i don't i'm i'm i don't know you call yourself a boss and got all this going on because you buy a few fucking trinkets but just a dolled up fucking goofball man you should be already doing the walkthroughs through other strip clubs throughout the country. They pay you to come out. You don't touch Satellite 1 and Satellite 2. But, uh, you seem like you're not against what she's doing with her life. It's you just, confusing. But you, you seem she's like, like you, you think she should be doing it on more. a bigger level. Yeah, just I just like, want what? her to, hey, because you know what? Because she playing with it. Do not tell, listen to me, do not tell these girls or anybody that comes even inspiring into being in the game that that's how that shit goes. That is not the game. By not giving up. Cell phones, thing. cars, that shit is not the game. Maybe. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and stop it here. I like to run it too long. But he's just trying to basically tell this girl, you out here telling women to go through all this to get a fucking cell phone apartment in a car the cell phone you probably get to keep the damn car in the apartment you're not gonna get to keep that the guy probably leasing that shit out because he don't want to buy a whole fucking car and have it sitting around somewhere and he got an apartment for you that's so he can come through let's not get that you no know, jacked up or he might like you and i won't see you on the street all right yeah you can stay here for six months I take care of it. He can pay that shit off the bat. What? A couple thousand dollars. That's nothing to him. And you put up in an apartment saying you bossing because the nigga just paid for your apartment for six months. But after the six months, what are you going? What are you doing? That's what you need to be telling these young girls.
while you got them out here tricking for bullshit, the man trying to tell you where to put your money and what you need to be doing, and how to be successful, you'll not want to hear it. You can't catch up to him, to be honest. He's, he's really talking too fast for her. Because she had to look at old dude like, what, what is he saying? What is he really saying? He's confusing. She don't get it. But, hey, man, what do I know? Whew. Until next time, I got one more part to this, and that's going to be it. Part three, uh, Sharp and Blue Jasmine. Stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. But remember, subscribe, like, and comment. Hit that notification bell. So you can get the next one. Make sure you don't miss it. Because it's going to finish out with a doozy. All right. So. What's up with Jay. Full Light TV. Out. Till next time. Peace.